Hello everyone, here is my long-awaited video on instructions to the attendees, how you can listen interpretation when you join a multilingual Zoom meeting. Well, um, first and foremost, make sure you have Zoom on your device. If it is a computer, download from, uh, from zoom.us uh, slash download. If you, if you want to use your mobile phone, go to Google Play or App Store and download Zoom. Not only you need to download it, but you also should uh, update it. You may have Zoom, you may be using it for ages, uh, but then uh, interpretation functionalities are new. And to make sure you have uh, proper access, if you are using your computer, sign in to, to Zoom on your app, go to the corner photo, it may be empty, but it's your profile photo. Click on it, and the drop-down menu will take you to check for updates. Check for updates and make sure your Zoom, Zoom is updated. On your phone, it updates like any other app, Google Play or App Store. Go there, update your app, and you will have a smooth experience with language interpretation. Well, in the meeting uh, or in a webinar, when there is interpretation, there will be an icon on the bottom menu. It will say interpretation. It may also show the languages available, depending on the Zoom version. Sometimes it just shows an EN uh, icon, but usually it's interpretation. Okay, And click on it. When you click on it, it will give you language option, options. I mean, I... For the sake of demo, I used English and Turkish. It could be Chinese, uh, Arabic. It could be in different languages and alphabets. It could be, you know, dozens of tens of maybe 100 languages all on the same list. Choose your language, say English. And then uh, this mute original audio will be highlighted. Please also choose that because otherwise, not for all speakers, but from time to time, you may be hearing the speaker uh, in the background while you're trying to follow up with the interpretation. So if you are, if you feel uh, disturbed and confused about it, what you need to do is mute original audio. So interpretation first, select your language and mute your mute, mute original audio. Three steps, as easy as that. On your phone, uh, you will see a screen prompt. For example, for this demo, it's English and Turkish language interpretations available. Uh, click on more. This is an Android. Uh, for other versions, sometimes it just gives language channels right on the screen and you, can, you click on it. Depends on the phone. But in any case, the phone or the computer will prompt you that interpretation is available. And that is very important. Well, guys, uh, not every uh, Zoom meeting or webinar is managed by professionals, although we strongly advise that. Uh, well, many corporations want to handle it themselves. So if there are no technical moderators, uh, the proper etiquette is to mute your microphone when you are not actively speaking. Um, some meetings are now uh, having live captions, either, either automated or uh, human generated. If uh, captions are enabled, you will see another menu item like CC closed captions. Uh, just click the arrow next to it, to the right of it, and say show subtitles. When you say, say so, show subtitle, you will be able to follow up the meeting with subtitles. Please uh, be aware that subtitles are only available in one language on Zoom. Depends on the choice of the event organizer. It can be in English, Turkish, Arabic, any language, but just one language. It won't be in multiple languages. Well, uh, here you go. Uh, if you want to uh, learn more about Zoom from one of the global experts like me or someone from my team, drop me an email or go to our website and schedule your session. Hope to, hope to see you in one of our trainings or in a meeting organized by Dragoman. All